when you flipped over that first flitch and the knot was the size that Microtech said and the location where they said, at that point you understood how it could benefit hardwood. I'm somewhat analytical. As with any other project, you kind of look at it as what payback would it have? What benefits, of course, other than financial paybacks? It was a pretty in-depth process. We did some testing. Technically, what we called it internally was man against machine. And we broke a log deck out, a set number of segments against a set number of segments. And that test showed what Microtech could do for an upgrade as compared to manual sawing. So Microtech offered something that nobody else does, and that's to be able to see inside the log. To understand where those defects are is just, it's incredible. Through that process, being that this was technically a serial number one, we were fortunate to have a head sawyer who ended up learning the parameters and understanding how to optimize this machine. The true benefit of this is taking that scan from the CT scanner, tracking that block throughout a surge deck process, and then re-recognition with the log eye, and then taking that optimal solution, telling the Sawyer where to rotate the log and get the optimal value out of that log. Microtech had to understand how to take our grades and put it in that machine so it understood how we grade and what our highest value products were. So in 24 years of sawmilling, I've never had a project that was almost solely discretionary. Most of them are general replacement, essential type projects. This one was 90 plus percent discretionary. So with that, you gotta have a decent payback. And through our testing, we knew what our payback was gonna be at a minimum. As with any other discretionary project, you probably want at least a 30% rate of return. And with this installation, this capital project has exceeded our expectations.